Welcome to episode 36 of Boston Swapper, Director of Football Challenge, here on Boston United FM. <whistles> Boston United of Conference North and Boston Town of the United Counties League were switched in the non-league football pyramid. I took over at United down at level 9 and have won a promotion every season since. We've also won the FA Vars and the FA Trophy on the way. We have overtaken the club's original status and have now made it back to the Football League. We even went straight through into League One and now the Championship. All with a perfect director of football, Mr Transfer Genius, taking control of transfers, scouting and backroom staff. In our last episode, we beat Premier League Bristol City in the FA Cup quarter-final in dramatic fashion. Two late goals saw us progress by three goals to two. We have played four games in the three and a half weeks since the last round and drew with Watford then won three games in a row against Rotherham United, Luton Town and Southampton. With three games to go, we are holding on to the last playoff place, just a point clear of Crystal Palace. We play the Eagles on the last day of the season. We also play 16th place Barnsley and playoff rivals Nottingham Forest, so it will be a huge effort to extend the season and give us a chance of promotion. Leicester have lost both of their games since the quarter-final, at home to Bournemouth and away at Manchester United, both games without scoring. Hopefully that will continue today. With lone keeper Granadillo ineligible to face his parent club, Jake Eastwood plays in goal. Otherwise we are at virtual full strength, except that regular striker Joe Ritchie, on loan from Fulham, has a twisted ankle and is unfit to play. Matthew Edwards starts in his place, with fit again Terrell Whitaker on the bench. Wembley, here we come. The biggest game in our club's history, an FA Cup semi-final at Wembley. Our first appearance at Wembley for three years since we were a National League club and we got to the Wembley final of the FA Trophy. Just having a quick look through the Leicester side, I can see Iwobi on the left. They've got Bruno Fernandes. Ndidi is still there. Tenali. Soyuncu at the back, Chilwell's still playing at left back. They've still got a pretty good squad. I can see a Bellingham on the bench as well, and Grealish. They seem to have both kept and signed some big names. And we're just little minnows from Lincolnshire in the Championship, hoping to get into the Premier League for next year via the playoffs. But today, it's all about the FA Cup. So we best kick off. Free kick with Soyuncu. Gets it back from Tonali. But they go back to their keeper, Dahlberg. Launched forward towards Iwobi. He's playing with Ndidi. Tonali's now advancing. He's into the area. But that's a tame shot for Eastwood. Throw in down the left for the Foxes. They give it to Bruno Fernandez. There's Chilwell with a cross, goes far post, but Eastwood is equal to it and tips it round for a corner. Fernandez with the corner, goes far post, but it's cleared by Keane Bryan. Now we're attacking long throw, but it goes to Savage on the edge of the box. However, he does lose it to Ndidi. You've got Bruno Fernandez, he's over halfway. Jink in his way through. He gives it to Chilwell. He's on the advance. And they've put in the second rebound. Rafael Pedroso has given Leicester the lead. All came from our throw in. Chilwell advancing as a wing back. Gets a shot in. Gets a second shot. Eastwood saves the first two, but can't get anywhere near the third. Free kick on the edge. 
But I think it's hit the bar. No, it's been tipped over for a corner. It's cleared. Tonali on the edge of the box. But we charge it down. And now Savage is trying to attack. Down the left-hand side. But he's just run the ball out of play. But it's half-time. We're just 1-0 down. We've not really shown much attacking prowess just yet. Just the three shots. But they were all on target. But we haven't seen any of them in the highlights. Checking the individual players. We're not really doing much in the attacking third. Possibility of making a change at some point. We have got Whitaker to bring on up front. There's Taylor Hart who can play anywhere across the front and in behind. But for now. I think we'll just go out into the second half, see what happens for the first 20 minutes or so, as always. So we'll kick off the second period. Free kick with Chilwell, left back position. He's got Pedrozo through. He's one on one with a keeper, but he's put it wide. Corner to Leicester. I think we're going to VAR for a penalty. Yep, Leicester have got themselves a spot kick. Fouled by striker Edwards. And it's Bruno to take. And he scores. He puts Leicester 2-0 up. It's a long way back from here. Slots it into the corner. I think that's our cue to make a change or two. So I think Taylor Hart can come on for Roy McCarthy. He has been booked, so it makes that a little bit easier. And I'm going to give Whitaker the go up front. Last half an hour, he's not had a lot of football just lately, but he's come up with us throughout the divisions and he deserves a chance at Wembley going to have to leave the third change for a little bit later on just in case because what we don't want to do is go down to 10 men due to injury. Leicester attacking once more but we try and get the ball off and we do. Taylor Hart is now advancing. Is he going to go all the way? He tries. Right there's 10 minutes to go. Gonna have to make another change. And we've not got a lot of attacking options now since we've brought on Taylor Hart and Whitaker. It's going to be Harvey White. I think I'm going to bring him on for Charlie Savage. He's been booked as well. Does he want to play a little bit more attacking? Yes, he does. So I'm going to put him on advanced playmaker attack just to get him forward a little bit more. See if we can steal one goal at least. We're into the last minute. We're going to build from the back. Forward towards Taylor Hart. Now, can we get a goal? He's advancing into the area, but it's tipped wide for a corner. Probably going to be the last chance. Thomas to take it. Goes in. But they do clear it eventually. And there's Jude Bellingham to Bruno Fernandes. Back to Bellingham. And they're back on the attack. And that's the full-time whistle. We do lose by two goals to nil. Our massive run goes all the way from the third round where we beat Manchester United at Old Trafford through to Wembley in the semi-final where there was over 80,000 people in attendance and we go out to Premier League Leicester City. Eighty-one thousand three hundred and fifty people in attendance and man of the match went to Ben Chilwell, the Leicester City left back. We've been given just over a million pounds for losing in the semi-final of the FA Cup. And I think we did miss Joe Ritchie in attack. He has scored quite a few goals for us, but he picked up his injury two or three weeks ago and therefore missed out. And Matthew Edwards, his replacement, has gone 384 minutes without scoring. And Terrell Whitaker, he's also on a seven-match run without finding the net. However, 
quite a few of those will have been as a substitute. The FA Cup dream is over, but we now move on to concentrate on the league and securing a playoff spot. We've got three games to go. We are in sixth place, but we play one team above us and one team directly below us. It's going to be difficult, but we know that if we win three games out of three, we will be in the playoffs. I also feel if we can beat Barnsley and then one of Nottingham Forest or Crystal Palace, that will probably be enough as well, especially if we draw the other one. But the next episode is going to be the final day of the season. Will we or won't we make the championship playoffs? If you've enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.